here at HSPM, we're in the living room getting ready for Thanksgiving. I see all the goodies up there on the table. Right. Yeah. And it was You got the Hawaiian, right? Hawaiian yeah, roll? Hawaiian oh, roll. Oh, oh, I, almost, I almost dug into that on the way down. Ready. I know <laughs> better. I saw you eyeballing me too. I know. I'm not supposed to do that. But anyhow, when we, when we stopped and we took a break, we were talking a little bit about the rivals' rankings, and I think we were talking about that point in time where you had a knee injury. This happens to a lot of guys. Right. Okay? Happens to a lot of guys. I could name plenty who that's happened to, but yeah. you noticed something. I thought that was compelling what you said about where his rankings were after that injury. Yeah, he was uh, he was ranked uh, based off statistics and numbers um, and camps. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he went to the opening. He went to the Spark Combine. He scored the highest his freshman year. He scored the highest of all defensive linemen in the country in his Spark Combine. Yeah. Um, let me let me let me just chime in on that real quick sure. because I know our audience they, they are involved with this now they're in this process they're going through this journey they might be at the youth level they got high school players right well, how important are these camps because it's a little bit different it, it, camp is one thing is there a process by which you get to these camps the rivals camps the, um, what, can you talk a little bit about that s sometimes it's okay. sometimes it's who you know okay sometimes it's who you know getting okay. an invite. Um, okay. Some of the camps you can walk up. I know like the Spark Combines, sure. uh, those are you just kind of walk up and obviously the high scorers get invited to a, to a, they to go a later later camp. They go to an invite to regional camp. after right. their performance in the Spark Camp. Yes. Right. Okay, that's real, that's real important to clarify. Yes. Because not everybody can just walk up on these things. But I believe the rivals, like rivals I believe is something you can sign up and just go to and the same thing that the high performers there yeah. get invited to the, to the next event. No to question. like the five star event or whatever the next invite only camp is. Okay. Um, we were fortunate with the Ducks, which is mm -hmm. a tremendous organization to get you know that to start the exposure process. Sure. Um, that that kind of kick started everything and kind of got his foot in the door with everything and okay. we did some some tour college tours and things like that. Okay. Um, but. Really, the performance got him where his rankings were. When you asked me how, how important they were, mm. it, it's it's important. Going to camps is important. Competing at at an early age is is important. It really really did a lot. His size, mm -hmm. already you know six six two two forty as right. a freshman. Right. He already had that size. Yeah. So so, so he, the eyes that go on him that yes. does that does mean something in terms of physical attributes. Correct? Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it wasn't a matter, it was a matter of, he, he still had to go through his, you know, his, his tests yeah. and his, um, you know, they, they had to put him through to, to see if he was ready to play at that level. Okay, very uh, good. At, at those at particular camps. Yeah. Let, me, let me ask you a quick question coming right off of that, because I think this is important too. So you have those particular camps, the, the star rating and the rankings organizations, mm -hmm. they have their camps. Can we talk a little bit about, maybe you can talk to us a little bit on about the college camps themselves mm -hmm. in terms of now if you got an invite to go to a college camp you're being evaluated there how much more intense was that is that more intense than the ones that you went to in terms of the rivals 247s what was that like and what were they looking at and what did you what did you sense coming out of those types of camps uh, there's probably a, a big difference between the camps on the invite camps and the walk-up camps okay. Uh, I would say the walk-up camps, you have a lot more guys, so there's a lot more eyes to look on coming from the coaching standpoint and everything. But uh, mm -hmm. the competition-wise, it's probably a little bit easier than all the invitational camps and all that. Um, okay. uh, like USC. Yeah, like the okay. USC camp, uh, okay. that, that was the invite only, so. Right. That was uh, the camp. How many guys, how many guys should are there by invite. How that many guy we're talking about? At least 35, at least. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that was a smaller, more intimate. Just at his position. Just, oh, yeah, just yeah. at your position, yeah. but, but smaller in terms yes. of most of the other camps, exactly. right? So they're really getting an eye on you. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I was a sophomore at the time, and uh, there was all juniors and seniors, and um, they already knew me coming in to the camp. Uh, so after the warm ups, they told me everything, and they uh, they put me over to the juniors and seniors. Okay. Uh, made me go mostly uh, uh, every rep when I was out there. Okay. I went at least like 50 times and won like at least 45 out of them. 45 out of the 50 yeah. times that you went. With juniors and seniors. I want to know this too. Mm -hmm. You're young, you're young walking in. That's your first experience, right? Pretty right. much at a college camp? Exactly. How, how do you feel? Do you feel like I, I'm ready to compete? I know I can compete with mm -hmm. the guys. You got eyeballs on the other guys. How do you, is there a sense of nerves? Are you, what's I'll, going on in, in your yeah. head and in your heart? 
I would say I, I would have nerves okay. uh, because like I know I could compete with mm-hmm. those other guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, I felt like they lacked on my size and my my speed, so I wanted to go out there and show them okay. what I had yet. And I guess winning forty five out of fifty, yeah. <laughs> perhaps you pretty much did exactly. that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick break, and then when we come back. I want to talk a little bit about and, and more intensely about. Uh, your perspective of the recruiting process mm-hmm. and, and what that's been like for you and, and the experience right. that you're having. And we'll give it a little twist when we come back too. Okay? Yeah. We'll be right back after this.